To make your life easier, your WordPress website can use a page builder to create stunning websites without knowing how to code. And in this video, we will take a look at the Spectra Visual Website Builder for WordPress. So what is a page builder? A page builder lets you visually design your website by dragging and dropping sections without any code needed. Think of it like a design tool that controls the content layout inside your WordPress theme. Spectra is a visual drag and drop editor to design your pages without code. But not only. Spectra comes with block patterns from our starter templates design library. Now it doesn't stop here because Spectra can be powered by starter templates, which comes with hundreds of industry specific designs. Spectra also comes with a pop-up builder, global styling options, animations, and much, much more. And if you want even more features, you may be interested in Spectra Pro, which comes with dynamic content, loop builder, advanced pop-up builder, advanced animations, and much, much more. So how to use the Spectra page builder? So there are two ways you can edit your pages. You can either go to pages, all pages, then choose the page you want to edit and hit edit. Or you can just view your website here. So hover over the name of your website, hit visit site, then navigate to the page you want to change. It could be the about page, then hit on edit page. And first let me show you how easy it is to edit the existing content. So here I'm just going to click here on the title and right away you can see our right side panel changed. So here on top you see the name of the block we're using and think of the blocks like Lego blocks. This is how we're going to build our pages with blocks and more about that in a moment. But here as you can see we have a heading block and we have a bunch of settings that we can change here. For example, I can align the text left, middle and right. So let me put it back in the center. I can change the heading tag from H1 to h6 and even paragraph. Think of the h1 to h6 as if you were in a word document like the biggest title to the smallest title. Now if I just want to change the content I just click here and for example I can change it like this. Now let me put it back and I can also change the style by clicking on the style tab then hit the pencil icon here on typography and here I can change the font size. So like this, like this, you get the idea. Now the rest of the options are pretty self-explanatory and you have total freedom. Just make sure you stay consistent with your design. Next, you can see we have a floating bar here with a bunch of options. So if I select my text, I can make it bold, italic. I can also hit the three dots and I have more options like duplicate, for example. So let me change this. And now you can also drag and drop the elements. So for example, let me put the mouse over the six dots here and I can drag it above the other one. So now it's on top. But if you don't want to drag and drop, you can also just hit the arrow here. And there you go, it's back in this position. Now, if you want to delete it, hit the three dots and hit delete. Next, let's say I want to change this image here. So here, this image is a background image. How do I know this? Because there is text above it. Now, if I scroll down, this is an image block. And if I click on it, you can see here, image block. So let me show you how to change both. So let's scroll back up. So here I'm just going to click here. And if you want to know exactly what you're selecting, you can open the document overview here. So here I can see I selected my container. And if I expand, I can see the heading title I have inside. Now, I told you it's a background image. So let me go back to container and then click on the style tab. And here is our background image. So now all I need to do is click on it. Then I can just drag and drop files search images online or select them from the media library. And that's what I'm going to do. So let me change the image by this one, then hit select. And there you go. Super easy. Now let me scroll down and let me click on this image here. And as you can see here, this is an image block. So I'm going to hit change image. And this time I'm going to select this image here Then hit select and voila super easy. Now, if I want to change regular text, it's the same thing. I just click here and I can just change the text here. And once I hit save, the changes will be reflected online. Now that was for editing existing content. Now let's imagine I want to add new content. So I'm just going to collapse my containers here. So let me scroll down. And now I'm just going to click on the plus sign. And here you see all of our spectra blocks. Now, if you scroll down, you will see these blocks. These are WordPress core blocks. Usually they're black icons in their normal state and they just turn blue when you hover over it. 
But if I scroll back up, you can see that here the spectra blocks are blue, whether in their normal state or when you hover over it. So just remember this. So here I'm going to add a container, but you can see it added our container here. Think of a container as a box where you're going to put a bunch of stuff. In other words, other blocks. So I'm just going to click on the document overview and I'm just going to drag my container here at the bottom. Next, I can choose the layout. As you can see, we have one column, two columns and more complex layouts. Let's pick a simple one. Let me pick this one. And now I can click here on the plus sign. And for example, let me add a heading block. And let's call it my heading. Now, as we saw before, I can align it here in the middle. And now let's add an image. So with my heading selected, I'm going to click on the plus sign and select an image block. Then go to media library. And I'm going to pick this image here. Then hit select. And there you go. Super simple. Now, as we saw, I can change the order by dragging and dropping or using the arrows here. And now my heading is here. Now, let me put it the way it was. Now, there is another way we can easily change the structure of the elements displayed. So let me go back and click on the document overview. And let me select my container. Then go to general. Let's collapse container type and let's open the layout sub tab. And by default, you can see the direction here, but I can change it. I can click on row. I can click on row reverse or column reverse. So as you can see, you can get pretty creative with this feature. And once again, without knowing any code. Now, another great feature of Spectra is that it comes with responsive modes. So if you click on the icon here, as you can see, we are in desktop mode, but we can go into tablet mode. And here we can make some changes that will only happen in the tablet mode. So for example, here, let me change the structure. Let me put it back to this structure. Then I can go into mobile mode. And let's change it just for the sake of this example. So here the title is at the bottom. And now if I go back into desktop mode, as you can see, this is the state we last left it in desktop mode. Now let me go into tablet mode. And now you can see the title is on top. And if we go into mobile mode here, the title is at the bottom, just as we set it. So as you can see, even without knowing any code, you can have full blown responsive website that will look beautiful on all devices. Now that was the manual way of adding new content, but if you want to make it even easier, so here I'm going to show you, let me select my container and then I'm just going to click on design library. And this is completely free, by the way, unless, of course, you want AI to chime in and write the text and create the images for you. But let me just show you how it works in the free standard mode. So here on the left side, you see a bunch of categories, hero, page header, about services and so on. We're on the about page. So let me click on about and let me select this one here. So I'm going to click on insert. Next, click on get started. I'm going to click on leave following the prompt. And here it's going to ask you to connect to your free ZipWP account. If you don't have an account, it's free to create. And for example, if you have a Google account, you can just log in right here in the browser with that account. And then it would automatically connect Spectra to your free ZipWP account. All right. So now our block has been automatically imported. And if I scroll down, here it is. So here it's already working. It's already responsive. It's beautiful and all you need to do is change the text and change the images as we just saw. So these are the foundations if you want to easily edit the content of your WordPress website with the Spectra Visual Page Builder. And if you want to know more about Spectra, you may want to watch this video or even this video on the Brainstorm Force YouTube channel.